Finder path bar is such a minor feature which you either use without noticing or don't even know it exists. But I guarantee you that you will use it lot more after watching this video. And that's because Finder path bar is actually pretty useful and it has some new features in macOS Monterey. When you open Finder, this is a standard window. By default, there is no path bar at the bottom. You can easily edit if you go to view menu and here select show path bar. But maybe you don't like to have it there all the time. I have a solution for you. I can easily turn it on and off with the keyboard shortcut. On macOS Monterey, you can use quick look path bar if you hold down the option key. I can for example select this file and let's say I want to see the path for this file. So I will click and hold down option key and it appears here at the bottom. It will stay there as long as I keep holding the option key. So I can take my time to read it and use all of the features of the full path bar. Actually there is one thing you can't do in this quick look path bar. I will show you that later. But now let's actually explore the features what this path bar offers. It's not here only for showing the path. So I will just bring up the temporary path bar again by holding the option key down. I will move my cursor down here while still holding the option key. Now I can click on any of these folders to actually jump to that folder. But I can go even into a subfolder straight away. Let me show you how. Again, start on any location in the finder, hold down option key to bring the path bar. As an extra, hold the shift key as well. So I'm holding both option and shift key and click on any of these folders and it will show me the sibling folders. I clicked on documents so I can see all the sibling folders in there, like movies, music, downloads and I can click on any of these folders to quickly jump in. Maybe let's go to the library. Remember, I still have to hold both Option and Shift key. Well, it's not entirely true. In fact, if I hold the Option key down, but then move my cursor over this path bar, I can release it. And as long as the pointer is over there, it's not going to disappear. Now let's try to click with Ctrl key, not the Shift one. Once I Ctrl click any of these folders, I will get even more options. If you are using the mouse, you can use the right click or two finger tap on the trackpad to get to the same context menu. Well, you have a lot of basic options here, like open the selected folder in the new tab, show in and closing folder, or get info. But there are two things that you will not find anywhere else in the Mac, only in this context menu. Opening in terminal will open a new terminal window and it will take you right to that folder. In this case, the documents folder. I am not using terminal much, so it's not so exciting option for me. But the other one, copy as path name, might come in handy. I can select that and paste it somewhere else to see the exact path to that folder. This quick look path bar is available in any finder view. If I switch to list view, I can still reach it by holding the option key. And this feature is also available in open and save dialogs. So let's go back to pages, select save from the file menu. And in this dialog window, I can again hold the option key to see the temporary path bar for quick navigation. And with a regular click, I can jump to any folder or use the shift key to see sibling folders. At the end, I have one more extra tip. You can use the path bar to move files along the path. This feature unfortunately doesn't work in this temporary path bar, so you need to show its full version from the view menu. And now I can take any file and drag it into any folder in the path to actually move it there. So even such a small feature like a path bar can be very useful. There are so many of these hidden features on the Mac. If you want to discover them all, subscribe to Apple Online Academy and I will show you more in the next video. So see you there.